All right, so I don't know, Mike. Uh, I think we need a new name for it. Well, I do at least for this wrap-up show, I think. Oh, don't uh, include mine. I don't want this to be a regular... <laughs> the Dave and Mike wrap-up show? No, <laughs> from Dave to Mike or from Mike to Dave. You might have to change it. Yeah. You know what? You might have to get rid of that great Justin to Kelly reference. Yeah. <laughs> Which Sadly. I yeah, I didn't pick up on that until you said it last week. So I don't know. I figured uh, we're here. We're waiting around anyway. We could go through the show or we could just have reaction to kind of the Justin news from this weekend and today. Uh, obviously, on today's show, we talk about it a little bit. Hopefully, you guys have listened to it at this point. Uh, Kirk's mentality on it is just, is this show healthy for Justin? You have probably, I've gotten to know Justin a lot over the last month and a half, two months or whatever it may be. You've known him for longer. Uh, what is your kind of, just from knowing the situation, what's your gut feeling? Is this a healthy environment for him? I don't know. And I feel very guilty. I feel bad about, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad coming on here and talking about it. Cause I haven't really talked to Justin, yep. but also like, I don't know that he wants that. He does not seem like a very chatty, uh, let's discuss our feelings kind of guy. Yep. And uh, he was very good. Like when I was away, he would reach out uh, fairly regularly, but I didn't really want anyone to do that or feel like they had to. And I don't know that he would want that. So yep. like, I don't really know what to do in that situation. And he's very hard to read in general. So it's hard to say like, yeah, he should leave or not leave because I don't know what's going on in his head at all. Yeah. It's also a tough spot too, because one, he's coming off like a really strong week in terms of like his involvement in the show, right? The stuff that happened last week was just fucking hysterical. Like yeah. nonstop. Literally the Tommy John ad read might've been the funniest thing I've ever been a part of. It was that like, I don't know. I just thought it was the funniest. Just in general, like popping in with him. In yeah. There. It was <laughs> it was such a good, yeah. It was such a good thing. You want that to last. So, but the thing that's kind of even more difficult is you get through Friday. He obviously sends his text that he's not coming to Sacco on Saturday morning. Sunday comes, and he's planning to do the live stream on Sunday night. So it's like, very weird. Yeah, so he's going to listen to this show, which is like, sucks. I mean, yes, he knows what's in Kirk's head because he has the text, but like, he was, in his brain, like he's ready to go, right, hypothetically, and it kind of comes down to... You know, obviously Kirk is the end-all, be-all of the show, but like we get, we we got the opportunity to give our opinions on, you know, is this environment right for him? It seems like Kirk does not think it is. I don't necessarily think it is, but I don't really know that much. So, and like you said, we we haven't talked to him too much about it, but it's it's a really tough spot because it feels like in his brain, before Kirk and I were texting him over the, on Sunday at least, like he's coming in here today and everything's normal. Yeah, which you is know? a very weird. Because then that kind of shows that he doesn't have any idea why it might be bad to miss that event, which yep. is not a great, uh, you know, lack of self awareness. But uh, it's <laughs> it sucks because like I I can feel for what Justin's going through. Yep. But also even uh, you know as bad at my job as I may have been when I was here, I wouldn't have a missed the event and then not had any idea why maybe it wasn't a good idea to be involved on Sunday on Sunday after night. missing that event. Yeah. So yep. that that's kind of a, a troubling thing. And I can see why uh, uh, I can imagine why it's difficult for Kirk. Cause like, it's not entirely Justin's fault, whatever he's dealing with mentally, but it yep. just might not be a great fit for him. Or yeah. at least right now, like I, I left for four months or whatever. Yep. And now I feel better and I feel like I can be a part of it. So maybe that's what Justin needs. Well, I, don't I think, know. I think it's all, I mean, you got the authentic experience of like what's, going on behind the scenes on the show right like i think that kirk genuinely just said to himself too like i don't believe this is a healthy environment for one of my employees yeah. and i can't hide that right i'm just going to tell him how i feel about it he's going to take the week and you know diagnose it for himself but at the end of the day too like kirk has the right to just say like you know what i I think this environment isn't healthy that I have to make the call for you. You might not be seeing it, but I feel like I have to make the yeah. call. And I, that kind might be of, happening. I kind of admire Justin though. Cause it's funny that Kirk is like strongly hinting. Like maybe this isn't the best thing for you. I would immediately be like, Oh, he definitely does. I, then I should never come back. Correct. Whereas Justin's like, nah, I'll be in Monday. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh no, I'll be there. Don't, Don't worry, worry about yeah. it. Yeah. I could see your brain was like in a pretzel on whether you should come to the studio tomorrow to right. take calls. Yeah. And, and Justin would be like, Oh no, no, I'm going to be here. I'm oh, be I'll there. be here. Yeah. I'll be there. So yeah, it is. It, it, it's fucked up, and it's uh, it's obviously on everyone's brain and and what's going on. And I, I certainly feel for him. I, I can't relate to it personally, but I saw what I saw on Friday, which was somebody who was clearly rattled, right? And it just it did see like an, it seem like an environment that was just not conducive to yeah. what he's going through. And you know, I, I, Kirk took it to another level, which was he's been here for basically two years, and and how much further based on all the things we know now, be it the two Sako shows that he, he wasn't there for or whatever 
I don't hold it against him because I do think it's health related. But on the flip side, too, like, does that prolong the opportunity to grow within the show? Right. Like financially, business wise, all that stuff. And it seems like we're basically like kicking the can down the road where if we bring him back, it's going to take even longer to get to a better position. Does that make sense? Am I wording that right? Where it's like it might take longer well, yeah. to get to where he wants to go. And is it worth that wait for him? Right. Because like right, right now, like I come in and do this just for promotion's sake. Like yep. Kirk's kind enough to promote the podcast. That's all I need out of this show because I like doing it. Like, I like yep. coming in and doing it. Yep. So, and I can afford to do it. Yep. Like, I'm able to pay my rent and stuff. So, is Justin willing to say, I'm just willing to come in for whatever he makes or doesn't, I, don't, I have no idea what he makes, but, like, is that what he wants out of life? Or is it, t- like... Because obviously you won't get a full time job here would at be, this point. That would be if you had the full confidence in your employer, basically, to say, "I think that we can turn this into a healthy environment for you." Because that's the wild card, right? Like if that. If, well, no, not even that. It's yeah. saying this won't be a full time job for you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like he pretty much said. I felt like he was. That's what he was saying today. Yeah. yeah. Where like if because over the summer he had a problem with not making enough money. Yep. Like you wanted $52,000 or whatever. Yep. Yep. Everyone remembers that, I'm sure. Yep. And uh, so obviously I assume he needs Oh, to I thought you were alluding to like if he really wants to be here, he would battle it out and work for free and stick around. No, 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 oh, no, okay. no. I'm, I'm saying the opposite. I'm, gotcha, gotcha. I'm yeah, saying yeah. he probably can't afford yep. to do that. Yep, yep. So he's looking at it and saying like, you know, I'm sure he's going to need a full-time job at some point. Yep. So can he afford to dick around for eight hours a day and uh, not dick around, but you know what I mean? Like yep. call, make, making prank calls yep. if he's not... If that's not his job, yep, yep. you know? Yeah, and you know what? He's uh, Clearly, he's going to listen to this show. Hopefully, he takes the week to kind of diagnose what happened, hear Kirk's words, review the text, whatever, and just kind of analyze it himself, right, and see where he wants to go. And if his vision is still to be here to talk with, you know, whether it's me, whether it's Kirk, definitely Kirk, actually, of like – where I want to go and how long it could take me to get back to the book to either get back there or to get there in general. Right. Like you have to start having those conversations at this point, I would think. Right. You know? So, so yeah, that was all raw. I feel like uh, that was good for us. Cause you've known him. I've obviously worked alongside him pretty closely recently here. You've known him for longer. I think that was what we needed to address in the, in the wrap up show today. Uh, tomorrow, I believe we're, yeah, he said Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is the likely schedule this week. I think he just said he wants to take calls. I thought tomorrow, he said right? Friday. I thought he said Chris on Friday. Oh, I'm an know? idiot. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Sorry. Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, just a call show tomorrow. Did we do that last time? I guess we did that uh, Tuesday. You weren't here. When I wasn't here. Yeah. yeah we just yeah, took yeah. calls and kind of went through the, the WEI stuff. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll do that again. That went well last time. So. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Fuck me. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday is the show schedule. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, Mike, thanks for hanging out. Thank you. Appreciate it.